Good morning from Call of the Wild. Today, we're going to learn more about Yeti, our Sepulon Siberian Husky. Here's Fluffy Yeti. Sepula Siberian Huskies are a working lineage of Siberian Huskies. Come on, Yeti. Yeti's defining characteristic is his bond with humans. Yeti is a natural sled dog with a stable and serious temperament, neither nervous nor aggressive. Colors and markings are considered of little importance. Eyes may be brown or blue or any combination of the two colors. Yeti here has what we call party eyes. He is blue and brown in both eyes. Sepulas are active and energetic, but very docile and trainable. Sepulas show a primitive canine type, never having been bred or selected for confirmation or for the show ring. The breed shares its ancestral base with the Siberian Husky and for half a century shared the same registry with that breed. Bred by the legendary dog driver, Leonard Sepula, from dogs imported into Alaska from Eastern Siberia. The Sepula Siberians became famous in Alaska for their domination of the all Alaska sweepstakes distance race in the period from 1914 to 1917. Later, they became popular in New England when Sepula raced there and ran a kennel in Poland Springs, Maine. In 1939, the last Siberia imports, along with several of Sepula's dogs, became the breed foundation. Well, Sepala was in Alaska, the sport of dog sled racing was developed. In 1908, the first All-Alaska Sweepstakes race was run. The following year, a team of 10 sled dogs was brought to Nome from Eastern Siberia by a Russian fur trader. They were laughed at, given 100 to 1 odds due to their size. They were only half of that of a typical Alaskan Malamute of the day. Yet they almost won an upset victory at the second Nome sweepstakes race in 1909. It was widely rumored at such odds had the team won, it would have broken the Bank of Nome. In 1913, Sepala's employer, Jalet Lindenberg, a mining company operator, entrusted him with raising and training a group of Siberian females and puppies. About 15 dogs in all. Sepala entered the 1914 sweepstakes with the team but failed to finish the race after getting caught in a blizzard. He nearly went over a 200 foot cliff along the Bering Sea coastline. The following year, Sepala's Siberian team won the Nome sweepstakes. Sepala dominated Alaska's major races thereafter, winning consistently with his Siberian sled dogs. Sepala continued to import, breed, and train Siberian sled dogs, becoming a legend in his own time. In 1925, the city of Nome was threatened by a midwinter diphtheria epidemic. Sepala became the crucial figure in the delivery by dog sled of a supply of anti serum via an otherwise impassable route between Niana and Nome. Sepala set out from Nome, met the driver carrying the serum from Niana more than halfway, and returned immediately, by night across the Norton Sound, traveling 340 miles over treacherous sea ice and through blizzard conditions to bring the serum back. The leader of the serum drive team had been Togo, and Sepala was outraged at the publicity given to the newspaper dog Balto, who had led the final team into Nome. 
feeling that the credit had been stolen from Togo, who had deserved to be considered the hero of the run. Seppala states that the serum drive was Togo's last long run, and that in that drive, he had worked his hardest and best. Yeti was purchased from Deer Creek Sled Dogs in Casper, Wyoming. He continues on Togo's lines and was chosen for immediately running up to me when we were picking out puppies. Since Yeti was a puppy, he is showing his sepulin trait of his bond with humans. He will never leave you out in the cold and always will make sure you get home safe. After a day of fun tours, we head back to the yard. Yeti always runs straight for his dog bone and gets a couple chews in before dinner. For dinner, we serve a mixture of raw beef and a high performance kibble by First Mate Pet Foods. Thanks for watching and meeting Yeti the Zeppelin Siberian Husky. And until next time, stay wild.